Have you ever wondered how the Tesla autopilot would work in the snow when lane markings are covered with snow? Well, let me start off with this. I bought a Tesla Model S not only for the gas savings, but mainly for the autopilot feature. I have a 45 minute commute, at least, and that commute can be an hour, an hour and a half, maybe even two hours with traffic. Now, there are two camps um, regarding autopilot feature. Those that think it's a gimmick and those that absolutely love it. I have to say, I'm in the absolutely love it camp. I use it every single day when I drive to work. And I've been commuting for about 10 years now. And my commute has never been easier. My commute is 95% highway. So a feature like autopilot makes total sense for my drive. So here's my drive home tonight. And about five minutes into my drive home, it begins to rain and it will eventually begin to snow. So prior to version 7.1 that was just released by Tesla, whenever the highway lane markings disappear, the car would basically alert you to take over the wheel because it doesn't know what to do without those lane markings. But now with version 7.1, They've made an enhancement to basically improve on the ability for the car to keep auto steer enabled even though lane markings have disappeared. So here you can see that I am following this tractor trailer and you know that the autopilot is enabled and engaged by the blue colored icons. Next to my speedometer on the left is the automatic cruise control which is currently set in blue and on the right there is a blue steering wheel that means that auto steer is currently engaged now autopilot has been engaged since the beginning of this video and it's obviously been sped up so you can see it in action over a longer drive now you'll notice there is another blue icon of a tractor trailer in front of the car in version 7.1, they made an enhancement so that the autopilot can actually see whether the car in front of you is a tractor trailer, a motorcycle, or even a car. So it can now distinguish between those three different types of vehicles. When the icon is blue, it means that it's following the car in front of you, in this case, the tractor trailer. If it's not blue and gray, it means its autopilot is currently following and seeing the uh, lane markings on the highway. So you can see here that the weather is getting pretty bad now and the lane markings have pretty much disappeared and autopilot can't see it. But autopilot is still engaged because it's following the tractor trailer in front of me. Now prior to version 7.1 this would not be possible. Here's the video in real time with autopilot engaged and following the track the trailer in front of me. And it will continue to follow the truck if it can or while it can. And if it can see the lane markings, it'll try to follow that. And it'll switch back and forth depending on which one is the most visible one. So right now it's following the lanes. You can see the left lane is blinking blue. Uh, that means it's following that. And now you can see that the tractor trailer is now blue, so that means it can't see the lane markings. So now it's following the path of the tractor trailer. And you'll notice that I'm going around a little turn. So as the tractor trailer turns, it also follows the path of the tractor trailer, which is a great feature for autopilot. So now you can see that there's snow starting to accumulate on the ground and autopilot is still engaged. I do want to tell everybody that I did have my hand holding the steering wheel this whole time, just in case something did happen. Even though I am 100% confident and comfortable with my hands off the wheel with autopilot engaged, when the lane markings are clearly defined, even at night or during the day. 
So here you can see that autopilot is on and it's just following the truck for miles and miles. And it's it can't even see the lanes at all, but it's still engaged. Even around turns, it will still follow the path of the truck. Now there is one issue that I do want to warn everybody about. And that is when the autopilot is on and following the path of the truck. You're probably wondering what would happen if the truck happens to change lanes when it's following the path of the truck. Now, here's a warning that I think Tesla should actually give everybody about this particular enhancement. Since the car is following the truck in basically every path that it takes, if the truck the trailer were to switch lanes, the Tesla would actually try to switch lanes as well, thinking it's that's the right path to go. Now, in a few seconds here, I'm going to show you a clip where the actual the tractor trailer actually tries to switch lanes, and you'll see that the Tesla slowly creeps into the left lane. And I knew it was going to happen, so I had to take over the wheel because there was a car there as well. And here it is, the truck switching lanes. I'm taking over, disabling auto steer, but leaving the automatic cruise control still enabled.